Hello you fantastic people and welcome back to a Borderlands 3 to a super exciting video. DLC 1 is out the uh, Mad Moxie's Casino Handsome Jack thing, I forget what it's called, but it's a dope DLC. You guys should get it if you haven't already. It is an amazing DLC. I played it all this morning, actually got up at 3am, uh, 4am and then 5am, all of which low-key failed because the DLC uh, kind of glitched with the season pass this morning, but alas, I eventually got into the DLC and played it this morning and I've got a whole bunch of new legendaries to cover for you guys starting with the auto aim aimy something sniper rifle amazing sniper rifle I think it's probably my favorite sniper rifle in Borderlands 3 the Lyuda was of course my favorite before now um, this thing is like the perfect medium between the tanksman shield uh, sniper rifle that's an M4 dedicated drop if you guys have heard about it came out in the M4 um, Mayhem 4 update a few weeks ago and then the Lyuda. So the Tanksman Shield has got like 2,200 damage, super high capacity, but the fire rate isn't all that. It's not that viable of a weapon just because of the fire rate. The Lyuda, amazing. Uh, fire rate's like crazy because it's flat off. The Dull is the dead center, perfect weapon. I love using it for mobbing. I love using it for bosses. It's fantastic. I've used it all today, and you guys need this sniper rifle in this game. And the best part is, it is extremely easy to get as long as you have DLC one. Now this one is literally my seventh one, I believe I've got, and this thing is an absolute monster. This is the highest damage one I have. It is 1800 damage, which is absolutely filthy. And compared to the Lyuda that I use regularly is 1400 damage. So this thing has a higher capacity. Uh, the fire rate is slightly lower. Uh, this one is the fastest fire rate one I have as well. I don't know how I happen to get the highest damage and the highest fire rate. It's absolutely crazy. Um, but this one is about 5.48 bullets per second, which is mental. The accuracy is almost pinpoint with 94%. The handling is average at 61%, magazine size of 10. And this one has elemental damage on top of the 1800 damage, which was already filthy enough by itself. 1500 damage per second of fire. Um, and it is 16% chance, which is pretty good for a sniper rifle. Uh, this one has an increase of 10% critical hit damage, which doesn't come on all of them. The weapon fire rate is increased by 21% for this one, hence the increase. And this weapon swaps between fully automatic and two shot burst. The gun itself is called auto aim for a reason. There are auto aim features with this gun. So if you shoot, I'm not really sure what the logic is. From my experience, at least, if you aim the gun even close to the enemy, it will hook the bullets in mid-air and hit the enemy. Uh, I think generally it goes for crits, but I think it's dependent on how close you were to aiming. If you get generally close, I'm pretty sure it goes for crits if they're, you know, accessible. For the loader bots, for example, they're super easy, dead center of the enemy. It hooks straight in and hit all the crits for those. So I just hip fired and with that accuracy, plus the auto aim feature, I was barely missing any shots. Now, of course, in case you guys didn't assume already, there are spoilers in this video for the boss spoilers, story spoilers for DLC 1. If you guys don't want to get those, stop watching now, go play the DLC, come back so you guys can see where to get this one from. It is an absolute machine. Now, for everyone else who has played the DLC all the way through or just doesn't care about spoilers, here is where to get it. You want to go down to the VIP tower. You're going to have to progress through pretty much the entire DLC. I think it's about three quarters or almost finished before you get to this boss. Uh, you want to spawn right here. Now from the fast travel station, I believe this is the fastest run. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section down below, but I'll show a few runs on screen in just a second. Uh, from here, they're going to run to the ammo dump, grab some ammo, kill the little uh, crew challenge boss that spawns here. I'll be covering him later on in another video, uh, but then run straight through here. And where I'm currently standing, you're going to be wanting to farm, spoiler alert again, Freddy, who is a trader in the DLC, and he is a boss fight towards the end. I think he's the second last boss in the DLC, and he drops the new sniper rifle. Now where you guys are checking out the runs on screen, I farmed Freddy six times and he dropped it six times. So I believe it is a guaranteed drop from Freddy. I believe there are a few um, guaranteed, I was gonna say dedicated, but dedicated guaranteed drops in the DLC one, uh, which is pretty damn cool. The fact that you can get probably the best sniper rifle in the game, or at least second best sniper rifle in the game, guaranteed farm is absolutely fantastic. Now this is a guaranteed farm from my knowledge, from Mayhem 1, 2, 3, 4, no Mayhem modifiers, true Vault Hunter mode, and normal mode. Does not matter, I don't believe you have to be a particular level, it is just guaranteed drop, which is amazing. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if it's a world drop, I've played through a fair bit and found a few different bosses and I haven't seen a drop anywhere else. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have seen it, um, a drop from somebody else, let me know where from, I'd love to hear it in the comment section. Now when farming this guy, um, kill the crew challenge boss on the right there, he drops a whole bunch of good loot as well as world drops. Then when you run through the arena, he sometimes spawned for me um, immediately, and but majority of the time you had to clear the area out first. Uh, I personally just used my um, gas coal, threw a bunch of them around, and it just destroyed the loader bots. 
um, and something like a Lucian's Call that critical hits Ricochet or the bullets just destroys the room super quick. And then he spawns in with uh, two robots to start with who are super tanky in health. Um, just shred them again with a Lucian's Call or Gas Call or anything corrosive will absolutely destroy them. And then he has a shield and um, a red health bar, so just an average human. Destroy him with a shock weapon of any kind. I was just using the sniper rifle, honestly, to test out the strength. I wasn't even using optimal weapons to kill him. I believe you are supposed to get better loot in Mayhem 4, just generally in the game, so you potentially could get a higher damage one in Mayhem 4. But one thing you can definitely get is a higher chance at anointed drops. Um, out of the six drops, I didn't get an anointed one yet, so I'm gonna switch to Mayhem 4 and see if I can get a good anointment on this thing because it is an absolute machine already, let alone when you put anointments into the mix as for elemental types i have seen the shock one and the fire one so far out of the six ones i got a shock and i got one fire and the other four were non-elemental uh feel free to let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have got any other ones i would assume there would be in all elemental types or at least i hope so but yeah that is the auto aim sniper rifle in a borderlands 3 dlc one i hope you guys enjoyed this video i found it helpful at all if you did feel free to smash subscribe i'm going to be covering all of the dlc weapons all the bosses all the fun stuff there is in dlc one if you guys get this weapon and have any different variations cool anointments added bonuses stuff like that feel free to leave it in the comment section down below I would love to hear the best results so we can see what we can go for in the DLC. If you guys want to smash like and share the video with your friends so they know where to get this amazing sniper rifle in Borderlands 3 DLC 1. Can't believe it's already out. That would be fantastic. It would help the channel grow even more. And uh, yeah, other than that, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I shall see you guys ASAP for the next video. And uh, adios.